in the previous video. Hey, hey, uh, no you, no you don't, mm -mm. And so let's continue the journey. Ha! <sighs> hey everybody. Today I got a little bourbon with me while playing this game, so. This is gonna be a little fun, a little bit more fun. If I forget the voices, that's why. So, hopefully, this will be the last episode. I have a feeling I'm really close to the end of this game. I just need to remember what I need to do. Okay, uh, where was I last? Uh, East Wing Key. Right, I have that key now. So, was that this way? No. Let's see. I think it was... Yeah, it was down this way. Okay. It's locked keyhole. Yep, this is it. Okay. Cool. What do we got in here? Hey, monster. Back off. You're an asshole. Hello, other monster. Why? Leave me alone. Oh. Oh, God. And... Damn it. Yeah, just... Just take the bullet. Really? Okie dokie. Leave me the hell alone. Thank you. Oh, is this... Item? A student's memo. Uh, let's see. There we go. I can't for the life of me remember where I left my stuff. I remember taking it with me to the chemis to chemistry, but I had three more classes since then, and I can't recall exactly when I lost it. I can't trust that the students here won't try and open my briefcase. If they find it, nobody knows it's half of 6424. Half of 6424? So, 3, 2, 1, 2? Three, two, one, two. Nope, screw you. You're you're an asshole. Oh no. Whoa. Fuck. There we go. Really? Oh. Just, just please. Ah. Uh, uh. Three, two, one, two. Three, two, one, two. And nope, 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 nope. This door, I think. Yep. Okay, the briefcase was over here. Student's briefcase. Okay, it should be three, two, one, two, please. Yes. Okay, now I can open that other thing. Uh, where's gas mask? Can't- what do you mean you can't use it here? I have to use it here or else I'll die. Uh... Wait, okay, so maybe if I take it, then use the gas mask. Okay. Gas mask! Yes! Yep! Poison gas filtered away and the door is unlocked. Progressing like a boss! And that was the most retarded thing that happened right there. But okay, I can deal with that. Okay, how many do I need now? I needed four of them, I believe. Earth. Fire. Let me guess, water. Air. I will become the avatar. Oh, you again. Leave me the hell alone, you dick. Okay. okay. Electric salt. What am I gonna use on electric? Oh, jeez. Yep. I'm gonna take a drink from that. Ah, uh, yes. Good bourbon. Faraday's note number three. Da, da, da. We found them! I took- I think this was the voice. It took all three months, but we managed to track them both down. Neither of us have memories of the incidents leading up to the time crash. 
This is better than I had hoped! Okay. Okay. Something just happened. A lot of stuff just froze. I don't know what happened. W whatever. We found them! It took us three months, neither of memories including the trash chat. This is better than I had hoped! It would be easy enough to lurk cult here, and only made him believe he is human. What? Then it would seem to him that the cover he used when hunting cult is real? If so, this is very fortunate. I'll get Tara's opinion on the plan first before I decide to send the letters. She'll know best of how to approach two, wa two while keeping the truth in until the very end? Well, that's weird. Oh, get, get away, get away, get away, get away. Door, please don't be locked. It's locked. This appears to be the art gallery. Uh, that's the clock key. What am I gonna... Weapons. Oh, that's a weapon. I equipped a chainsaw. Now I can pretend I'm an evil dead. Can I please? That yes. God damn it! <laughs> can I please just? Yes, I I know I know what it did. Why does it keep freezing like this? What what's going on? I don't know if there's an audio problem with this, but occasionally it kind of freezes. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm gonna brace myself and brace myself again. And okay, this is the first time it's acted weird like this. I don't like that. <sighs> That's the door, isn't it? Door won't open. It's locked from the control panel on the side. Oh. That's a control panel. There are four slots on the keypad, sir. I don't have all the keys. Leave me the hell alone, you stupid monster! God damn it! Uh, oh god. It froze again. What the crap? What the crap? The game keeps crashing. I don't know what's going on with that. I hope it doesn't become an issue with the recordings. This will be kind of annoying for the last game to be doing this. You son of a bitch. Oh! That's what that was for. Okay. God damn it! <laughs> this is really annoying me. I don't know why he keeps doing this. Hopefully this doesn't become an issue. I'm just gonna keep saying that, aren't I? Of course, I'm drinking while doing this, so I get a little repetitive. But whatever. Whatever. Hello, guy. Girl. Okay. Still running around everywhere trying to find clues, I see. Haven't you figured out yet what's going on? It's you! Yes. And I've had thought of by now that you have begun to resemble me. But it seems that it hasn't yet come to pass. I didn't think you'd have gotten this bad. If there's something I should know about what's going on here, why don't you tell me? Why are you trying so hard to keep it hidden? Because our plan wasn't to let you out of the truth, Tom. It was simply to bring you to Stillwater. Well, it began. We hoped you'd come to remember it all on your own. Bring me here! Hold on! You're the one who sent me the letter, aren't you? So Alicia isn't really here? That's right. I'm ashamed to admit that we misled you. But it was the only way to make you come here. We know you'd pursue the truth. Then that means you lure Colt here too as well. Yes, the both of you are here together. That's what we set out to do. But why? Then why us? Why would you go to such lengths just to screw with us? Because, Tom, we're trying to put things right. Return still the water to how it used to be before. And only the two of you together can do this. This Colt needs to die. And you need the one to make it so. Kill Colt? But why? Why are either of us so important to whatever it is you're trying to do? Because of Colt. It's because of Colt that the time crash occurred in the first place. Why? If he hadn't tried to go back and prevent the creation of the alternate timeline, go to the lab, Tom. You'll remember all of it if you go there. 
Remember what? Why won't you tell me? It's not our place to tell you who you are. That's for you to decide, and the time is near. All we've ever wanted to see was you return to us. Please look deep! Okay. No! Leave him alone! Tom, get out of here! Go! Colt! You're gonna get yourself killed! Or not. Are you okay, Tom? Why did it attack me? Why did it leave? It's never attacked me this whole time we've been in Stillwater. I'm still. I think I'm starting to realize something. That monster? There's something familiar about it. Like I know it from a past life or something. The fact that it left just now when I told it to let you be. You're lucky I turned up when I did. Found anything interesting? Okay, just jump there. We were tricked, Colt. Those letters we received. It was all a ruse. To lure us here. The shadow people seem to think that something... There's something for us to do here. Tricked? But why? What should we do now? The lab. We need to go to the lab where the accident happened. Wherever it is. Whatever it is, we came here to find. It's waiting for us there. We've come too far to just turn around now. You're right. We need to see this through to the end. No matter what. Have you managed to find all the lab keys? Almost! There's only a few more places I need to search. Well then, you go on hunt and tie up loose ends. I'll take one last look around the building for supplies. We meet up after that and confront whatever awaits us together. How will you respond? Okay. I'm going with the first choice. Makes more logical sense. Well, I'll go and look around. You take care of unlocking the lab. Be careful. I'll see you on the other side. Bye, Colt. I like you. I'm taking a drink. What is it I'm supposed to remember? Is it something that it's better off forgotten? I don't know, my friend. I do not know. But all I know is where to go. And... Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Not today. And you... You are not gonna get me either. Why is it so quiet? I just realized how quiet the game got. I went to the wrong room! I'm an idiot! I am... an idiot. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Fuck you. You're a dick. I'm gonna chainsaw you in the face. I don't care right now. I just wanna go to places of... Now, here's the door. Places of art gallery and see some awesome artwork. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna play, play some fun video games there. I don't think they have those there, but I don't care. Maybe it's video game gallery. Uh, the computer displays a screen acquiring a new numerical code. I do not know what the code is. Maybe there's something else here. Is that gold bars? Oh. Oh, a number is. A number six is marked on it. Well, that sounds interesting. That might have something to do with that code. A uh, peaceful beach, number one is marked on it. Okay, there's a one and a six. Number two is marked on it. Uh, three. Uh, number four. Five. Okay, whoa. Okay. Letter. It's handwritten memo left by a professor. Lennon's flag! Oh, wait, was this the same professor who wrote the other letter about the crazy gas thing? Lennon's flag! How old pink lady prince... Pr oh, that's the order. Um, uh, Lennon's flag... What was Lennon's flag? This Lennon's flag? No. Lennon's flag... Lennon's flag... Bum bum bum... Greek fruit... Of course, it's the last picture. No, it wasn't that one. This Lennon's flag? Duh. It's the... Stupid ass flag. Lennon's flag. Look at that. Seven. Okay, so seven. Uh. Eight. Seven, eight. Three. Seven, eight, three. One. Seven, eight, three, one. Seven, eight, three, one. Five. Okay. Come on, baby. 
seven, eight, three, one, five. Oh yeah, storm pin. Uh, was that all then? Let's see. There's only one place left, I think. That's the clock. Oh, I shot that thing. Good times. Good times. Killing monsters. Solving mysteries. And all that fun stuff. Huh, the game hasn't crashed in a while. That's good. I'm not gonna jinx it, though. So I'm gonna shut up. Okay, there's the monster in here still. I haven't killed him. And I believe the clock was up here. Hello, clock. That's the camping top of the clock key. Okay, there's a mechanism. Let's read, read. Uh, versus grin. Three fallen villains tell real crimes. The is discreet that they receive no mercy. Guilty was the plea. Their names chance six, ten, twelve. Their punishment is thus: six is for the rack to be stretched to twice its size. Ten shall be rent at half the blade. Dry until he dies. Twelve crowns, worst of all, punished with the match. To be cut into pieces of six and hung until the skin is black, and justice is served at last. Uh. What? Oh, whatever, I guess I'll use it. Oh, crap. Crap. Hmm. I really am. Ugh. Actually, I have no idea. Okay, I'm back. So, from what I've deducted, with the help of searching and information, I'm just gonna tell you straight up, I didn't think of this on my own. Apparently it's 19. Cold pin. Woohoo! Fuck you! I'm not in y for your shit right now. You're got. Oh, are we gonna do this, monster? We gonna we gonna do this? Okay. Now before I go through that door and get to the funnel end of this game, which I'm assuming this is really close to the end, it looks like that kind of game moment. I'm gonna go save. Not ending the game, that's for sure. But I am saving nonetheless. First, I will heal. Bum bum bum. Clear water. Yes. Oh, I feel so rejuvenated. I just feel like all clean and. Mmm. Feels good. Bum bum. Safe. Now let's go unlock that door. That should be everything. So nice that there's no monster here. That statue looks really familiar. Okay, I need all the cards. Oh yeah! I've inserted all four of the laboratory keys. There's no turning back now. Good thing I saved. Hey Tom, wait up! I'm coming too! It's drink time. So you've made it here after all. Tara, you're the one who we came all this way to see? What's the meaning of all of this? I may as well tell you now, since you've made it this far. Now that you're here, in this place where it all happened, you'll remember it all soon again. Anyway. Remember what? Why is this place so important? This is where the time crashed. Three months ago tonight. The incident that occurred here was all dis warranted for the both of you that your memories were wiped completely clean in a few minutes. Oh, in a few minutes when the machine activates and pulls all of us into the time crash itself, it'll all come flooding back. While we wait for that to happen, let me give you those answers you came here to find. You're saying we've been here before? We were involved in the accident that occurred? Indeed. That's exactly what I'm saying, but perhaps I'm not being forward enough. If I'm going to tell you everything, 
It's not- it's no harm that you know who I really am. Oh! A shadow creature? So you've been leading us along this whole time? No doubt you've noticed me telling you ever since we first arrived in this town. I couldn't reveal who I was to you then, but now it doesn't matter. I presume by now that you've realized that it was us who've instigated the accident which occurred here, and the merge that Marchani complex as well. We'd begun to think something similar. The only thing that I still don't know is why you've done such a thing in the first place. When we're strong enough, we sh us shadows begin to command almost limited power. Standing on this planet so far from our original home, we have been weakened immensely ever since we awakened underneath the beyond all those years ago. We've been trying to slowly gain and form strength so that we could finally begin the conquest of this world that we came to do. Our power is sustained by negative energy. As death and destruction occur around us, we feed upon misery and become more powerful. We almost regained our full strength when that fool, Faraday, defeated us in the catacombs of this man of that mansion. The destruction of our puppet, the house original owner, reducing us almost to nothing. But it was all not lost. Using our last bit of power, we brought Faraday under our control and replaced the vessel he had killed. His body now inhibits, inhibited by our lemur, my father, Faraday, became instrumental to our comeback. Along, he came to Stillwater, and soon rose to status till he became a man of considerable influence. In the meantime, we slowly gained some power from the few victims we had killed since the defeat. We desired a new base of operation and shifted our monolith to the current location in the coal mine. That's an interesting story, but what's it got to do with what happened here? We were amassed power too slowly for our liking. We would be dead at this rate. By the time we were powerful enough to advance upon humanity, we began looking for a way to generate a lot of negative energy at once. This was when we heard of Marchand's research in quantum physics. When we understood what a merge was, we realized that it was possible to create a limitless supply of power by using the technology to tap into cha the chaos void that had been created by the merge. We would be able to gather all the energy needed. But it didn't work out. Our rise of power was halted yet again. I managed to dismantle the merge and return the facility back to normality. Your power source was suddenly cut off. That's right. We began to despair, but we pressed on having Faraday's responses further research into that area. Finally, we made a breakthrough and gained the ability to travel back into the past. This meant we could manipulate the time and create a parallel timeline where the merge had never ended. We might not have been able to create a new merge, but, the, but we would certainly just as well siphon energy from a world where the first one never ended. Indeed, this is what we decided to do. Since the machine was under the jurisdiction of researchers outside the direct control, we had hijacked the machine. The best time to do it was naturally the press conference, where its use was by trial for the first time. We switched the time machine settings with our own and convinced them to use one of the people as a time traveler. Your goal was to have them kill Colt, right? You wanted to kill Colt and create a parallel world where he never ended the merge, didn't you? That's right, Tom. Our leader selected the person trusted the most to carry out this act, which would determine the fate of the entire species. He chose you, Tom, his son, my brother. Well, that's a twist. You chose Tom? What do you mean? How could you have chosen Tom? Tom's not... On the contrary, the truth is, Tom, you are a being of Shadow too, just like me. The time crash wiped your memory clean, and you were trapped in this human body, which has had forged which we had forged for you. But how? If that's true, why did I forget it all? The cult from this timeline somehow found out we were trying to do it. Trying to do. This man, who you've been working with this whole time, he tried to kill you, to stop you from carrying out your duty. It is meddling caused time itself to crash. He interrupted you, just as you were about to deliver the final blow. Time spun out of control. The two timelines merged into one, two different worlds, one where Colt lived and one where he died. The monster from the alternate timeline surged through the town, and all hell broke loose. We weren't powerful enough to place them under our control, and soon we were also in danger. It was, um, it was made worse by the leader. 
the monster you've been you per you've been pursuing all the time uh, all around the town by had wait you've been pursued all around town by had a personal vendetta against you she knew it was us who had caused her to become what she was she wanted revenge she that monster was a woman but then that can only mean one thing that's right your beloved tiffany is alive and well but as you can see in this case she was better off dead so Colt managed to foil your plan once again. Why are us back here when what's done is done, isn't it? This world has, in a has been in flux since the time crash. It cannot return to normal and separate the, and separate the timelines once more because the events that severed the events that served as the decision point had not yet resolved. While you both live, it cannot be stopped. I lured you back here to complete what was interrupted three months ago. Tom it is your duty to kill Colt, and that is what you have come here to do. But I like Colt. He's pretty cool. No, I refuse to do it. I'm not one of you. All I, ha I have my own free will. You can burn in hell for all I care. Very well, then. I didn't think you'd do it that easily. Your true identity is still clouded by the false identity which adopt you adopted when you took control of the human body. You now inhibit. But soon, we will be inside the void at the very heart of ta the time crash, and there, your memories will return, and you will know what to do. I'm sensing a boss battle! Uh... I... I remember now. Everything. All my memories have come flooding back. I know everything. I know what I have to do now. It's the only thing that can be done. What? What are you doing? You can't! Colt, no, I like you! There. Now that wasn't hard, was it? I knew that once your memories returned, you would make the right choice. Tara, I'm sorry. I put you through so much. I'm just glad that we now return to you. Where are we? We're currently standing in the midst of the pocket world. Lie in the very center of the time crash. We're currently in between all dimensions that exist, and outside the time itself. Access to this place should not even exist, but now that you've eliminated the interlude, we shouldn't be here for much longer. We just have to wait for time to readjust itself. So it's all over then? Even the monsters? That twisted version of Tiffany that has been haunting us like, hunting us like dogs? The monster will return to their home timeline. They won't be able to harm us. All we have to do is wait. Damn! I thought you say they wouldn't harm us. Well, I was proven wrong. Looks like they're not going home calmly, Tom. There's no escape from here. We're going to have to fight. They're cornering us, damn. They want blood because they're dead friend here? You're right, Tara. No we're running. This is the end. Oh! Oh shit! Ah! Uh. Boom. How much damage? Do I okay, I'm still good. Now. Chainsaw! Chainsawing! Come on, die, you son of a bitch! Chainsaw! Okay. I'm still good. But, but I'm still good. Okay, I need to heal. And... Boom. One down, baby! Oh, come on. Okay, face the enemy now. Come on, die! Okay. Um... Weapon. Do I have the gun? I have the gun. And... Oh! Never mind, I didn't even need the gun. Look at that. So... That was easy. That was really easy. There has to be more to this. Uh... You did it, Tom! You saved us all! Our people will never forget what you did! I know! 
I'm happy that our people are going to survive, but still. You did well, Tom. What's wrong? Is it that agent? Do you feel pity for him? No. I don't know what was... I don't... I know that was what had to be done. I know it did. But I can't stop thinking. I still miss her. Alicia. Tom. She can't come back. She never existed to begin with. You know that now. I know. But I can't help it. I came to Stillwater to find my sister. And I failed. No. You succeeded, Tom. You found me. We're all glad to have you back with us. I'm glad to be back, too. No, forget it. She's just a memory. A false one at that. Let's move on. That's it, Tom. Only, a, only the future will await us now. Come. We better get going. There's a whole world out there that awaits our arrival. So... Oh. I think I got the bad ending. The events that unfolded in Stillwater served only as a prelude as much greater harder that would engulf the world. Having succeeded in eliminating Colt from the timeline, thus managing to keep the merge open, the Shadow People quickly amassed power, and they launched their invasion of the world emerged two months after the incident. With no chance of combating the full power of the Shadow People, the world national collapsed quickly, humanity was slaughtered at a mass scale, and the Shadow People greedily satisfied their dying hunger. Five hundred years pass since the battle was lost in Stillwater. Earth is dead and barren. The sun shines down upon a rainous remains of once great civilization. Tom and Terra descended on faring for another journey through space in search of new world plunder. Once again, a struggle between the land dark was followed yet another species by to protect its world from the evil of shadow people. Where the horrific events that lead to death humanity will repeat, however, remains to be unseen. This is still hope the force of darkness can stop once and for all. I'm pretty sure that was the bad ending. Uh, yeah, that was the bad ending, as you can tell. Well, that sucks. Huh. <laughs> oh boy, I think these are some credits right here. There's some nice credits. You enjoy those credits while I drink and watch. Well, that was One Night Full Circle. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to get the good ending or not. Just because I would have to replay the entire game and... not kill anything. And that sounds like a pain in the ass, in all honesty. But... It was fun! I definitely like the One Night series. There's a fourth one apparently coming out eventually. I'll play that when that does come out. So, as always, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you next time around. Have a good one.